you have got to promise what I am about to tell you stays in this room. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here goes. I <laughs> am the real voice of Millie Vanilli. <laughs> okay, okay, I don't do both of them. I just do Vanilli. Hey, I did he's a favor. He's a friend of mine. Well, you, you know, you know the most interesting people. You know, last week in Kirk's apartment, I met the man who invented the artificial heart. No, Ralphie, that was the same man who invented Kirk's artificial brain. <laughs> And I waited there all by myself for five hours until he showed up, but it was worth it. Oh, oh, he's such an interesting guy. You know what he does now? Huh? He's an installer for the cable company. <laughs> before a studio audience. And when this guy from work asked me out, even though he's a prize catch, I had to say no. Oh, all right. So I'm not the only prize catch you turned down. <laughs> I'm afraid if I went out with you, I'd catch more than a prize. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You see, I have this rule I always follow. I never date anyone I work with. Me neither. In fact, us toll collectors down at the tunnel have a saying. Never drop your coins in the company slot. <laughs> well, I agree. I refuse to date anybody I work with. Mary Beth, may I remind you, you are currently unemployed. I know. And it's opened up a whole new world for me. <laughs> Mary Beth, don't you think that... Oh, you good, you're here. I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget to give you this. Ah. Didn't anyone ever teach you how to knock? You want to knock? Okay, you're ugly. <laughs> hey, hey, house painting by Henry. Thank you very much, Denise. Henry's good, he's reasonable, and he's my cousin. Well, now, he's not my first cousin, he's my second cousin, but he is my cousin. You know, painting runs in the family. Did I mention his daddy was a painter? Well, he was. Now, if you want a discount, you just mention my name. And now, if that doesn't work, you just tell Henry I know where he really was two weekends ago when he told his wife he was fishing with the guy. <laughs> well, I gotta get back to my overeaters group. Did I mention I lost 90 pounds? Bad, none of it was in your tongue. <laughs> I know. I talk too much. But you breathe too much. I'll stop if you will. <laughs> Oh, well, just my living room and bedroom. You only have a living room and bedroom. I guess I'm having my apartment painted. Well, John, you need a painter and you didn't come to me? Oh, come on, Kirk. What is this? Suddenly you've become a house painter? Yeah. <laughs> right, like I'm gonna risk getting latex on these hands. <laughs> no, no. A friend of mine is a painter. John, you give this guy a roller and a brush. He's a regular show fan. Kirk, Chopin was a composer, not a painter. I know that. But how do you think he made his living before his songs hit the charts? He's not the voice of Millie Vanilli for nothing. Okay, Kirk. Okay, does your friend have a card? No, he doesn't have a card, John, because he does it on the side. Well, then forget it. I'm not hiring anybody who's not a professional painter. He is a professional, John. His full-time job is painting the runways at the airport. Oh, come on, Kirk. That's just painting a bunch of straight lines. Hey, John, 
You put enough of those straight lines together, you got your apartment painted. <laughs> so how about it? Come on. Well, I'll I... send my buddy over tomorrow to give you an estimate. Okay, okay, okay. An estimate, yeah. But could you make it in the morning? I've got my mother coming to town in the afternoon. Got it. Your mother? Yeah. Uh, she's, uh, she's gonna spend a few days with me. Oh, be careful, John. Last year, my mom came to stay with me for a few days, and she wasn't there more than an hour before she started in with the orders. Don't sit so close to television. Don't play ball in the house. Don't jump on the sofa. I don't have to worry about that with my mom. She lets you jump on the sofa? No, 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 no. no. I, I mean, my mom and I get along beautifully. Oh. You know, she's in her 70s. This woman is so full of energy. Mm. Well, we'd love to meet her. Why don't you bring her to our meeting next week? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I think she'd love that. You know, whenever we get together, we, we, we just keep running out of things to do. Well, we could take her to see the skaters at Rockefeller Center. Or tea at the plaza. Or I could take her for an evening of music and dance. Okay. Oh, does she like to stuff dollar bills into jockey shorts? <laughs> Set me on his knee. He said, "You got lucite in your blood, Nathaniel. <laughs> See, Nathaniel, that's my real first name, but since that's my daddy's name too, I go by Henry. That's my middle name. So when you call and say you're a friend of Denise, I say, Henry, you better get over there and find out what kind of paint job that man needs. <laughs> I tell you, Denise, what my cousin? You didn't have to. <laughs> you got the estimate done yet? Oh yeah, right, right. That's okay. This is all it's going to cost you for the bedroom and living room. That's it. Nine hundred dollars. Well, that that's a little steep. Denise said if I mention her name, you might give me a discount. Oh, no, man. I can't give her no discounts. Huh? Come on. <laughs> she also said if that didn't work, I should mention something about a uh, fishing trip you took two weeks ago. <laughs> All right, make it 350. Well, <laughs> you must have caught a big one. <laughs> so I guess I'll hear from you then, right? Oh, I got another bid to get. Can I call you by Saturday? Make it Monday. Next weekend, I'm going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, is Kirk in? Who's this? His houseboy. Look, uh, <laughs> Kirk, it's me, John. It's not a collection agency. <laughs> Listen, you can tell your painter friend I just got a bid of $350. Yeah, that's right. So would you have him give me a call? Oh, uh, by the way, Kirk, you do a lousy Chinese accent. <laughs> oh, Cambodian. I'm sorry, my mistake. <laughs> no, later, later. Are my arms getting shorter, or are your lunch breaks getting longer? Uh, Mom, Mom. Come in, come in, come in. So how was your drive, Mom? Uh, I took the bus. You took the bus? Why? I don't drive anymore. You're kidding. Why not? Last month, I came close to running over a cat. Well, that could happen to anybody. This cat was sleeping in the pet store window. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. So I sold the car to Maureen Bowman. Well, as long as you're okay, Mom. Listen. We gotta get you settled in because we gotta get rolling here. I mean, uh, I thought we'd grab a bite and uh, take in a movie. Maybe we go right to Manhattan and uh, hit a few museums. Uh, the only thing I want to hit right now is the sack. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, sure. We, 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 we can do the museums tomorrow. We'll see. Ma, you want some coffee? Yeah, great, great. So how long can you stay before you have to go back home? Well, actually, Johnny, I was thinking of not going home. N not, <laughs> not, not going home. <laughs> You see, there's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, I've been living alone for a lot of years now. And I think it's time I made a change in my life. Yeah, uh, mother, uh, mom, listen, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's always a lot of fun when you come to visit, but uh, you and me living together? Uh, I mean, I know we used to live together, but that's when I was a boy and you were my mother. I mean, I know you're still my mother and I'm still your boy, but I'm a big boy now and you're a big mother and two of us are... Big people living in this tiny apartment would be a very big mistake, Mom. Relax, Johnny. I'm not moving in with you. Okay. But you know, you're always welcome. <laughs> Living alone is boring. That's why I need someone around to... Oh. Oh, what am I thinking about? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell me. Who is he? Where did you meet? When are you getting married, Mom? Slow down, John. Your mother's not getting married. You're not? No. Oh, well, um... 
Look, Mom, I understand. I mean, this is the 90s, and uh, if you two kids want to live together, that's your problem. I'm not planning to live with a man. Thank God, because I don't approve of the 90s. <laughs> Look, darling, I've decided to give up my apartment and move into uh, Blue Sky Manor. Blue Sky Manor? Ma, this is a rest home. It's not a rest home. It's a retirement home. Oh, come on. I don't care what you call it. What do you want to move into a place like this? Ma. You're not sick, are you? No, I'm not sick. I'm old. Oh, come on, what are you talking about? You're not old. I'm old enough to know what's best for me. Now read the brochure. Blue Sky Manor, located on two beautiful acres outside Hackensack. Oh, come on, Mom, do you believe this baloney? There aren't two beautiful acres within 40 miles of Hackensack. <laughs> my apartment is too big for me to take care of with my arthritis. I haven't vacuumed in a month. So what? I haven't vacuumed in two months. Oh. John, John, I wish I were strong enough to continue to live alone, but I'm not. Ma, you're really serious about this, aren't you? I've already given up my lease. Well, look, I'm serious about it, too. You're not moving into a rest home. You're moving in here with me. Johnny, are you crazy? I don't want to live with you. What do you mean you don't want to live with me? I want to live in a retirement home, really. Ma, 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 that doesn't make any sense. What have they got there that I don't have here? Daily maid service. Right. No, 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 look, I'll keep the place clean, I promise. And they have a lot of activities, like, like bingo. I got a Catholic church right down the street. <laughs> and if you're into Mahjong, there's a temple right next to the deli. Oh, John, I know your intentions are good, but I've thought this all over, and believe me, I know what I'm doing. Now, since you're the administrator of the family trust, I need your signature on this before they'll let me move in. What, what, what is this? It's a form. Now listen to your mother and sign it. <laughs> oh, sure. I signed this. You move into a rest home, right? And then a month later, you're sitting in a rocking chair saying, How can my son do this to me? John, I won't be saying that. That's right. You won't, because I'm not signing that. Oh, John. I'm not. Oh, John, sometimes you can be so pig-headed. Yes, of course. Runs in the family. <laughs> Sweet, I really want to do this. All right, Mom, 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 listen, I'm sorry. As long as I'm alive, no mother of mine is going to check herself into a rest home. Now, don't worry about it. We're going to be great together. I promise. Come on, we've got to get you settled in. I want to have a life like you have a life. Mom, what are you talking about? If I had a life, do you think I'd know about the Mahjong games at the temple? <laughs> John was about his mother's visit. I called my mom and she's coming to stay with me for a few days next week. Aw, uh, oh, aren't uh, you a good daughter? Uh, well, John made me realize my mom and I can still have fun together, even though she is getting up in years. Mary Beth, how old is your mother? Um, on her next birthday, she'll be... Oh, my God. She'll be 47. <laughs> This kid's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey, John. Hey, John. Hey, John. Yeah. Where's your mother? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, she's a little too tired to make it tonight. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Hey, John. Huh? I talked to my buddy who paints the runways at uh, Kennedy. Yeah. And he'll do you a place for half of what the other guy quoted you. And he can start next week. Well, that's great, Kirk. I'll see if it's okay with my mom. Okay. What? I said, I'll see if it's okay with my mom. You have to check with mommy before you get your apartment painted, John? No, uh, Kirk. It's a good thing you're not uh, remodeling the kitchen. You'd have to hold a family reunion, you know. <laughs> Invite Dada and Sissy Kirk. and Uncle Oompa. Kirk, my mother is living with me now. What? Your mother's living with you? I thought she was just visiting for a few days. Well, she was, but it sort of became uh, permanent. Yeah, mothers have a way of doing that. Uh oh. Mary Beth, where are you going? To call my mom before she buys her plane ticket. John, I can't believe this. I mean, do you know what they call a guy your age who lives with his mother? Supreme Court Justice? <laughs> Look, uh, my mother doesn't want to live alone anymore, so I had her move in with me, okay? John, uh, are you sure you've thought this out? I mean,. What if you'll meet some really hot babe who wants you really bad? What are you going to say? Your place or my mother's? Well, I'll, I'll worry about that when it happens. Talk about selfish. What about me? What about your buddy here? 
But if I get my hands on some really classy dame, I need a nice place to take her. What am I supposed to do? Do what you always do. Let the air out of her and stick her back in the drawer. <laughs> Say what you want. I happen to enjoy when my mother comes to visit me. Oh. You know, every night before she goes to sleep, we play uh, gin rummy for a penny a point. Smart, John. Much better than charging her rent. John, isn't your place a tad small for the two of you? Well, it is a bit cramped, but it's a lot better than letting her live at a rest home. Rest home? Yeah. Is your mother okay? No, 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 no. She's fine. That's why I don't understand why she wants to move into a place like that. You mean she wants to live in a rest home? Yeah, she wants to, huh? But I sure as hell am not gonna let her. I can't understand your attitude, John. It sounds as if you're trying to keep her prisoner. Louise, she is my mother, and I know what's good for her. <laughs> now, you're starting to get on my nerves. Uh, how is it that all young people think they know what's best for old people? If your mother wants to move into a rest home, you should butt out. I think Mrs. Silbert has a point. Now, look, Louise, I love my mother, and I'm damned if I'm going to let the same thing happen to her that happened to my grandmother. Your grandmother? Yeah. Uh, I adored that old lady. We all called her Nana. I was 11 years old when we took her to a rest home. It was a dark and cold place, and it smelled like, like old cardboard. I remember I kissed Nana goodbye, and that's... I never saw her again. She died two weeks later. Oh. Yeah. John, it's a shame what happened to your grandmother, but not everyone who moves into a rest home dies two weeks later. Look, Louise, I'm not talking about everyone. I'm talking about my mother. Now, she's too young to live in a place like that. Is she? Or are you just refusing to admit that she's getting old? What are you saying? Well... When you admit that your mother is aging, you're also forced to come face to face with your own mortality, and that's not always easy. It certainly isn't. <laughs> I still find it hard accepting the fact that my mother isn't getting any younger. Whoa, 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 Mrs. Filbert? Your mother is still alive? Well, if she's not, I'd sure like to know who's cashing those checks I've been sending to that logging cap in Spokane. <laughs> Great, she smells smoke. <laughs> Ma, you okay? What happened? Oh, nothing. I just put out a fire in the oven. Oh, my pineapple strudel. Oh, oh Art was your favorite. I, I wanted to surprise you. Ma, next time just say boo. <laughs> After I finished making the strudel and putting it in the oven, I was pooped, so I came in here to rest my eyes for a while, and mm. I dozed off, and I guess I didn't hear the timer. I'm no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, as long as you're all right. I'm not all right. I can't even make your favorite pineapple strudel. No, oh, come on. Oh, I wish I could do the things I did when I was young, even a few years ago, but I can't. I know, I know, I know. I guess we both have to realize we're getting older. Yeah. I'm not the same person I used to be either. In fact, you want to know something I found out about six years ago and never told you? What? I'm allergic to pineapple. <laughs> oh, <Johnny. laughs> Johnny, I think I'm going to like it here. I don't know, Ma. Look at this. Wire hangers. <laughs> they don't show you these things in the brochure. You know, 
Oh. I'm uh, Willie Hanson. I live down the hall. You must be my new neighbor. Yes. I, I mean, no. I mean, my mom is. Oh, hi. I'm Charlotte Lacey. This is my son, John. Hi. hi. <laughs> well, Charlotte, I just got back from the mall, and it was so exciting. What's a big sale? Better. You see, some of the shops give discounts to senior citizens. And today, well, I got carded. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, listen, Charlie, it's almost dinner time. Now, let me put this stuff in my room, and we'll walk to the dining room together, and I'll introduce you around. Oh, that'll be great. I'll be right back. Boy, some rest home this is. How are you going to get any rest with her around? She's very pleasant. Come on, now, admit it. This place is pretty nice. Yeah, okay, okay. It's not as bad as I thought. Yeah. But remember, if you decide you don't like it, you, you can, can always, always move, move back in with, with me. me. Yeah. Now, I appreciate your help. Yeah, okay. Now, why don't you get going? You have a long yeah. drive ahead of you. Yeah, okay. Now, remember, if you need anything, just call. I don't care if it's early in the morning or in the middle of the night. I'm just a phone call away. Oh, and uh, call collect. I don't want you paying for it. Mom, don't forget to take your arthritis medicine. Oh, let me give you my number at school. You need change for the laundry. The washer take quarters. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> And you don't have to worry about buying soap from the store because they have those cute little boxes in the laundry room. And, Mom, don't forget, I'm coming up to visit you on Saturday. John. Okay? Go home. Yeah. Right. Uh, Ma, I, uh, I, I, uh, I love you. I love you, Johnny. Yeah, but I, I still hate this. I know, this I is... know, I know. Mm. Darling, you'll get used to it. Yeah, yeah. Charlotte, yeah. are you ready for dinner? Because if we're late, all the soft food will be gone. <laughs> Goodbye, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, remember, I'll, I'll, I'll see you Saturday, all right? I can't wait. Maybe after dinner we'll play cards. Do you play gin rummy? Oh, I dabble. How does a penny a point sound? Make it a nickel and double on the skunk. <laughs> Message. The, the paint job is great. Your friend did a very professional job. Uh, well, he had a day off at JFK, so I brought him over to paint your bedroom. He'll be back to do the living room next week. Oh, and get this, you lucky stiff. He had some paint left over from another job, so we threw it in for free. Well, tell him thanks. I can't believe he did it so quickly. John, when you paint runways, you gotta move fast. <laughs> I owe you, pal. Don't worry. Next, is David ready to become a father? It's an all-new episode of Working It Out. This is Jane Curtin. And Stephen Collins. We're working it out. Next, then, the tables are turned when Hunter becomes the accused. Tonight, only on NBC.